Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. It's Sister Genevieve here. I just uh, really feel a sense of urgency in coming on here. And um, um, the Lord's just put it so strong on my heart to come on here and to, and to give this word. Um, I haven't been on here for a while, probably a little bit more than a month. Um, I usually come on here and share my videos, what the Lord's given me. And um, the reason I haven't re really been on here is I have a street ministry uh, as an apostle and evangelist and I'm on, I do a lot of street work and um, I've just been focusing on my street ministry and uh, but right now I just had to get on here and and share this with you because um, the Lord's putting it so strong on my heart that there's no more time left and I'm just really feeling his emotion. <laughs> The, the Lord wants me to give you a word, and the Lord is just about to speak through me, and this is for you. I encourage you, don't mock and don't scoff the times we're living in, because Jesus is serious. You can choose to face him as your, as your judge or as your savior. The King of Glory is coming. There's no more time left. My children, my children, listen to what the Lord your God speaketh unto you this day. Listen to what the Lord your God speaketh unto you. I am Yahweh. I am your God. My children, I have chosen you to be alive in this generation. I have chosen you to preach my word. I have chosen you to warn my people. The greatest event ever known in history is about to take place. I am coming for my people. This is it. The time has come. Am I a man that I should lie? I am Almighty God. And everything that I speak will come to pass in the last detail. My children, I am coming. I am coming for my faithful ones. Warn them, warn them, my children. Warn those who are lost. Warn those who have unbelieving hearts. The time has come. You can choose to face me as your saviour or as your judge. Everything that I declare will come to pass. Every single thing that I speak will come to pass. My children, my word says that my word will not return void, but it will accomplish the thing in which I set it out to accomplish. Yes, it will accomplish the thing which I set it out to accomplish. There's no more time left, my children. It pains me to do what I'm about to do. It pains me. It breaks my heart. Many are about to fall into the pit of hell because of their unbelieving hearts. Oh, Rashanda, but they have been warned. I have sent my prophets. I have sent my people to warn them. But they scoff and they mock at my prophets and my servants and they make fun of my word. Oh, Rashanda, it is now. The time has arrived. My children very soon the trumpet will sound and I will descend I will descend from heaven to gather you unto myself my children I see every bit of pain you're going through I see your suffering my promise is true my children that I will never leave you or forsake you I've not gone anywhere but I've been right by your side everything you are going through every single thing you have gone through. I have been right by your side. You have done so much for my kingdom, my faithful ones. You know who you are. 
Yes, I speak to those who have died to sin. I speak to those who have died to the world. Yes, you're no longer living for the world, but you've taken up your cross daily to follow me. My children, I see everything. Nothing is hidden from me. But now I charge you to warn them, warn them, warn them. Many of you are coming on YouTube, watching video after video after video, waiting for my coming. But you're not doing what I called you to do, my children. I have called you to be a light unto this dark world. Now is the time that you must rise up and warn my people, warn my people. Many of you watching these videos, your neighbors don't even know that you're Christians. Your friends don't even know that you're Christians. Ura shanda yarabasika. If you wish to be taken in the rapture, you must rise up now and warn them. For I have chosen you to be a light unto this dark world. I have chosen you to warn my people. Many are living in darkness. Many are broken, hurting, lost with their cups half empty. And they don't know who I am. They don't know of my love for them. But you you have been set free. I have set you free. I have chosen you. And I have charged you to warn them. I have charged you to warn them. Many of you have not done that. And I charge you now. The time is now. Rise up. Tell your neighbors. Tell your friends. I am coming. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the end. I am the first and the last. My word shall come to pass. Yes, my will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The time has come. My children, the time has come. I'm coming for you. Keep your eyes on me, your heavenly Father. Oh, Rashanda, for I am the faithful one who keeps his promises to a thousand of generations. Keep your eyes on that which is unseen, my children. Do not keep your eyes on that which is seen, for that which is unseen is eternal, but that which is seen is temporary. Do not take your eyes off me. I am the author and the finisher of your faith, my children. I am the God who opens doors that no man can shut. I will never leave you or forsake you. Why do you fear? Why do you fear, my children? I've not given you a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. I have chosen you. Now rise up. The time is now to become who you were called to be. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. This is serious. He's coming. He's really coming. He loves us all so much and he doesn't want anyone to perish. I encourage you, if you're listening to, to this video, if you haven't repented of your sins and if you haven't acknowledged Jesus as Lord and Savior, now is the time. The Bible says that today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation. I just had to be obedient to God and come on here and, and give this word because um, so many people are waiting for the, for the rapture. Waiting, waiting, waiting. But there's people that still need to be saved. There's people that need to be saved. And we can't have the attitude of saying, oh, it's not my job, I'm not an evangelist. No, if we have been born again, and if we are children of God, and if we have His Holy Spirit living inside of us, then we have the mind of Christ. God's desire is for people to be saved. He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross of Calvary, so that every single person can be, can be saved. How The Bible says, how are they supposed to... To know if if no one is sent to them, the Bible is very clear in the book of Romans that how can they believe if they have not heard? The faith comes by hearing the word of God, and we have to preach it to them. Too many people worry about oh what will they say oh you know they'll laugh at me because I'm a Christian. Oh, if you're ashamed of Jesus Christ, then His Word says that He will be ashamed of you in His kingdom. Now is not a time to be ashamed of Jesus Christ, the King of glory. Now is the time to rise up, to march forth, 
and to show people who you are, who your Heavenly Father is. Do not be ashamed of the gospel of Christ because it is the power of God. So many people are going to hell. Volcanoes are exploding everywhere. Hell is enlarging itself. Hell is enlarging itself. Natural disasters everywhere. Mothers, fathers killing their own children. Children killing their own parents. Did Jesus not say that it would be like this in the end before he returns? He said it would be like this. Nations are rising against nations. There's famines, there's wars, there's disasters. Oh, but some of you scoffers and mockers, what do you say? Oh, it's always been like this. It's been like this for hundreds of years. Well, you know what? You're just fulfilling prophecy because Jesus said in the last days there'll be people scoffing and mocking his return. Friend, if you are scoffing and mocking the return and the rapture of Jesus Christ, well, you are just fulfilling prophecy. I encourage you to get down on your knees right now and repent. Repent of your sins. Cry out to him. Ask him for forgiveness. Confess of your sins before him and invite him into your heart. There is no more time left. God is not playing. He is serious. He is serious. More serious than he's ever been. Millions of people are having encounters. Jesus said that in the last days he would pour out his spirit on all flesh that many would have dreams and visions and many would begin to prophesy. Friends, we're living in that time. Open your eyes, wake up. We are living in that time. That prophecy has been fulfilled. Children are having encounters with Jesus. They're having visions and dreams of Jesus in the clouds, out of the mouths of babes. God is using Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists to prophesy. Billions of Muslims and Hindus, Buddhists, all different religions are having encounters with Jesus Christ. I'm talking about while they are awake, not while they are sleeping. The Lord said that this, that this would come to pass. So many people are being saved all over the world. The King of Glory is coming. If you listen carefully, you can hear his footsteps. In fact, he's already here. The trumpet is about to sound, my friends. Jesus Christ is coming. I recently had a powerful vision of a white dove and um, I was watching this white dove in a vision and the, dove, and the dove began to fly upwards to heaven and the dove looked at me and the dove said come up here and as he said come up here my body began to float upwards to heaven and the vision ended and those, those are the words we're going to hear very soon come up here are you ready today is the day of salvation Jesus is coming turn from your sins Seek a relationship with Jesus Christ, not a religion. He loves you. He died for you. You mean something to Him. He's coming. He's coming on the clouds. I can't wait to see you guys in heaven, brothers and sisters, and give you a hug. Every one of us has been struggling, but keep our eyes on the author and finisher of our faith. He loves us so much. The King of glory is coming. Be blessed. Jesus loves you. Goodbye.